back in the early through the end of the 70s, the Hartford Art School was a real uh, fertile location for the creation of temporary sculpture and included artists like Alice Aycock, Frances Torres, Peter Berg, and of course Ellen Zimmerman. For this particular piece, um, the original design was the, at that point, temporary sculpture was to connect a, um, the two branches of the what we call the Hog River, or the Park River, uh, so that there was a visual connection between the, the two. I remember Ellen was great to work with, but she was very exacting and very demanding in that the piece had to be absolutely perfectly flat. And so there was constant uh, readjustment of individual slabs with levels and everything. Uh, and ultimately, uh, I believe we uh, achieved her goal. And unfortunately, over time, the piece kind of fell into uh, into disrepair, especially after the new pedestrian bridge was created. As part of the Art on Campus program, one of my jobs is to survey what's around campus and the art that's been placed. And one time I was walking around, I saw that there was something here, and I asked around and I was told that it was an, a public art piece. And so when Sophie and Blair came to do some Park River stories, I was telling them the story about this art piece that was here that's now been abandoned and neglected and they were interested in actually reactivating it and so from there we talked about possibilities and I had a couple of suggestions and they they took off and and brought the idea to life so this public art course started one year ago over the summer and we began by researching in the archives at the University of Hartford and found all of this information about the dam that used to be on the Park River, it had come up from Rico um, that there was this bridge-like piece called Conduit that Ellen Zimmerman had done in 1978 that was still on campus and that she might be interested in regenerating. So um, the artist researchers took it on themselves to work with Rico and operations team to actually um, and contact Ellen Zimmerman and see if it was okay to reconstitute this piece as a walkway from the University of, of Hartford's library to the Park River and then thinking about how it could probably eventually cross. So um, on Saturday, the 15th of June, we're going to have a community design charrette and that the point of that char charrette is to bring people in to consider what, a, what an actual bridge might be like and how it could serve people, um, animals, and the natural world and become part of this campus in the future. So it's a future looking project and um, the public art project will focus on this, this kind of community led design for the future that is centered around this Ellen Zimmerman piece that's been recast uh, leading us to the river.